We're off to a music festival for parents and kids. Have you got no other type of shoe? Like, train your shoes? No. I don't know how it's going to go, but it should be good for our kids. I don't care, I let it all go a long time ago, so to me, like, it's just... I don't know how to explain it, like, it's just Dylan and his girlfriend. Here she comes, say, Dulcie! Dulcie! Dylan's bringing Mackenzie and Dulcie May because he's doing the childcare this week. Yeah, we're going to see your mummy. And daddy too. Yeah, and daddy. And Dulcie. Daddy. I don't think Rianne wanted to come, um, but she doesn't want him to go on his own with me. I think Dylan's going to be feeling a bit awkward. You look a bit nervous. <laughs> uh, it's for the kids. Yeah, it's for the kids. Let's go, people. I'm sure my friends think I'm crazy for even doing this. I'm going to try and take a nice little family picture of me, Dylan, Rianne and all the kids. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. I'm a nice person. <laughs> no, but I actually just want to be nice, innit? I haven't got time for all this. What? I haven't got time for all this petty stuff all the time. You want to start your night happy with me? The cake shop was just on a Sunday when you got... Alright, well if you would have spoken to me, if you would have spoken to me, if you carry on screaming at me Dylan, I'm going to hang up. Why are you going to the party when I need you at my house? Why do you need me at your house? Because I told you you need to put the balloons in your car! I'm still on the way back from getting the cake. Okay, so come to my house like I said to you yesterday, like we spoke about it. And who are you with calling off private number? I thought Dylan had changed, but I've got an awful feeling he's been seeing Rianne again and he's trying to hide it from me. I need to know for sure. I'm calling Rianne. Why? Because I need to speak to Dylan and tell him where it is. I don't know. You's are busy. Hello. Hello, are you with Dylan? No, he'll be with you in a minute. All right, no worries. Um, can you tell him my purse is in his, in his party? I knew it. Today was meant to be about family and he's been with Rianne instead. See if his mum was here, boy, it's game over, innit? Like, come on now, his mum would have gone mental. I'm stressed out today because she's not here to see Mackenzie turn free. Like, come on, man, what are you doing? I need to breathe in it because I swear to God I'm going to have some sort of breakdown. How are you running around doing this one when your mum's not here? No, oh, come on. But you need to remember that this is the girl that lived next door to me for a year that I was friends with that you slept with behind my back when we was together. You do not love her and you do not want to be with her. She's convenient for the time. She washes your clothes. She's always got a bed for you to stay in. She's convenient to you for this moment in time. Who else is going to wash your clothes for? Ask my dad, I wash my own clothes and my dad's all the time. That's why your clothes smell first. She washed them last night, innit? Exactly my point. Uh -huh. She washes your clothes for you. I've been very miserable lately, like, and when I've spent time with I her... I know I've you've been, been miserable. Like, yeah, and yeah. when I've spent time with her, I've been happy, like. <laughs> you've said all this time that you're bare worried about me and all this <laughs> and I'm sitting here telling you that someone's making what? me happy. She she don't. Don't. How do you know she don't? Whatever, I don't care. Me and you are fine when I'm single, like, as soon as I, as soon as I speak about I getting with someone. I don't care if okay. you're with anyone. A week ago, you were saying to me, of course I care about you and all this are you just saying, I don't care about you. Obviously, I care about you. If I didn't care about you, then I wouldn't be here with you now. I know you care. think I, I haven't had arguments with my mum because care. I'm being too nice to you. I know you, you care, but I you don't... done that. I know you care, but you just sat there and threw it all back in my face. Not like. even. I didn't speak to her for like three weeks, innit? And it just drove me mad, like. I can't get a girl out of my head. I swear to God, like, I have tried so hard. Underground, when it don't come